in this example, we'll add on to the strafe target example to do move to destination. So there's an example for move to de destination in the same folder, which is runtime examples. And we'll set this to the E key this time. All right, the character is going to get set, so we don't have to worry about that one. And then we have a um, transform for what we want to run to. So I'll go ahead and put the same cylinder that we used before. Hit play. So now when I press the E key, I should switch over. So I'm in control. I'll just run a little bit. I'll hit the E key. Now it doesn't matter what I do for control while it's doing this, but as soon as I hit that destination, I've got control again. And at any point, I can just hit the E key again, and he's going to go straight. And obviously, all the same things, like you can force walk, you can cause him to sprint, you can do whatever you want. But it's just an easy way to get the character to do what you want it to do in between user input. Now we'll go look at the code for this. All right. It's uh, pretty simple. Again, it uses the simple key processor that I described in the strafe target example video. Um, and you have a target that you're uh, wanting to move to. So whenever the key press is, if your move to is already active, it's going to just cancel moving to the destination. So I can show you that in a second. But otherwise, if uh, the move to destination isn't active, it's going to call move to destination with the target. And we're going to pass in a void on complete callback, which just says arrived at destination. So let's go back and take a look and watch that happen. So if I press the E key, you can see the arrived at destinations, but I'll press the E key, press it again, it'll just cancel, do it again. And like I have complete control, press E again, let's let it get to the destination. Now it tells you it's there. And that's it.